It was no good. The sorcerer had me cornered. I had just been passing through town. Our eyes happened to meet, and he swiftly offered me a unique fruit. It's good! Try it! I obliged, and the moment I finished eating, he came at me. That fruit's not cheap, you know. It was a scam. The man demanded a fortune, enough for three modest castles. If you can't pay, you'll have to work off your debt. <laughs> He persisted three days and nights. I lost the Battle of Wills. And so I ended up helping the sorcerer with his work. They say money isn't everything. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> like that earn you much money.
In the world of men, wealth and power serve to measure one's worth. Only sorcerers have their own ways of judging people. We risk our lives daily in fierce combat. For many sorcerers, wealth is an abstraction. This man was an exception. I'd never seen a sorcerer so obsessed with counting beans. Keep your nose to the grindstone till you're paid off. <laughs> he laughed as he spoke, revealing his shiny gold teeth. I could only sigh. Karna Tux. I nearly fell over when I heard his name. He was infamous. He targeted monsters driven by lust for money. And was known for demanding the greatest share of the spoils, leaving his allies short-changed. continued to badger me about my debt. Better pay quick before the interest gouges you. <laughs> I accompanied this sorcerer on a short trip in order to pay off my debt. They say money isn't everything. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> Keep it down. Find things we can sell. You're killing monsters like that earn you much money. earn you much money.
cared about nothing other than wealth. No fortune is ever enough. We two are both sorcerers. A sorcerer worth his salt can make a small fortune. It just depends how low he is willing to stoop. But still, he was not satisfied. It's not enough, not even close. The question is, what fueled his insatiable lust for wealth? We hid in the shadows, observing. We spotted our target. A pretty impressive beast, eh? Some people wield sorcery to satiate their lust for wealth. Blindly melding with random gold trinkets to grotesque ends. Countless people have suffered this fate, transforming into monsters. We faced one such creature then. Similar ones scattered the land. They are sometimes called slum slime. <laughs> We're in the money today! Karnatux cracked a conniving smile and set after the monster. They say money isn't everything. Well, they're wrong. <laughs>
One was drowning in debt. Karnatax knew our target. He knew this avarice slime when he was still human, and how he devolved to this state. He couldn't bear to see his wife and children in poverty. He loved his family, and thought that money would bring them happiness. But his love soon transformed into unbridled greed. Karnatux reflected plaintively. It is the curse of wealth. Greed could drive a man mad. The world can do without more greedy wretches like me. He did what he had to do but not what I expected. Karnatux told me that we had one more job to do. Deliver the contract of the news. Now I realized we were hired guns. I had no choice but to follow. The poorer areas produce more than the fair share of monsters. It was an old story. A person facing difficult circumstances was easily seduced by material greed. This was not the sort of thing I expected to hear from him. I was now very curious. Just what kind of a place were we destined for? They say money isn't everything. Well, they're wrong. <laughs>
came upon it, a town of ruin, not shown on any map. A family greeted Karnatax. A child and its mother. The child held a fruit that I had become recently familiar with. The fruit that Karnatax tricked me into eating when we first met. He patted the child on the head as he spoke. <laughs> Don't worry. Your father will be back before long. This family was our contractor. The family of the man who had become the avaricious slime. Karnatak saved him because his family had requested it. And when he did, the father could come home. Karnatak gave the family our entire stash of valuables. All the gold and trinkets that we had pirated. This is repayment for the fruit. This man ate it. Helping the poor. It was preventative, so that perhaps the next monster would never be. One man's way of ridding the world of monsters. I'm sure he is still out there, digging for gold. If we were all rich, there would be no monsters. And he is absolutely right. <laughs> 